I just want to show you this. I bought it uh, last week. It arrived yesterday. It's a Chinese clone of an Atlas throt throttle lock. The big difference is the Atlas throttle lock online when I looked this morning it was £133. I got this off Amazon for £40.58p. This uh, was listed for a Kawasaki but also listed as universal throttle lock. I purchased the top kit that comes in two types of kits, top and a bottom. So that's the top and if you get the bottom it would be that way round but the cut out would be opposite. Later on this year um, we are going to France and I've got a lot of motorway, at least two hours of motorway before I reach the guys at the motor rev meeting point um, and then we've got at least I think it's another two and a half to three hours of motorway before we get to the channel tunnel so this is going to be invaluable for me what can I say it seems to be really good construction there's a little flap on the back that when you press to activate it pushes out I've already attached the friction pads on onto this one of mine. I went for the finished friction pads that they do. There's three different sizes that come in the kit. Um, you will need also a 2.5 millimeter Allen key because that's not supplied in the kit for the screw that goes into here. So I'm going to start fitting this and I'm going to show you guys how I do it. So top part, the throttle lock goes on there over your throttle housing. So I've got the um, Oxford heater grips on mine so hence why I had to go for the um, top kit. The bottom piece thread around here like so I'm going to be adding a little bit of thread lock to my screw just to be on the safe side alright so we've got a couple of turns on there it then says to push this tab here down back to the screw head And then at the back here, push and close the ratchet system. There we go. As far as you can. And then, I'm gonna tighten this bottom screw up a little bit. So, on. You can still wind off, increase the throttle or decrease off. Now, that's sticking ever so slightly. There we go, that's better. That's why I, I put a bit of thread lock on. Just in case I needed to back it off a bit, but I didn't want any vibrations to work the, the thread loose. Right, so let's give this uh, throttle lock a test out now and see how we get on with it. So we're doing 30 mile an hour now. That's it on. Okay, so let's go give this throttle lock a proper test. Um, we're just about to come to have come up to the motorway and give it a test on the motorway. And we'll see how we get on. Okay. 
Okay, so we're on the right way now. Speedo says 70. That's the proper lock on. Anyway, so I hope this has been helpful for anybody out there that doesn't have cruise control on their bike and they're looking to get some sort of cruise throttle control. I hope that helps you out guys and girls if you're looking for a throttle lock to help with bikes like this that haven't got cruise control built in. Take care and see you again soon.